around the world are cheering today as world peace has been achieved and mass starvation is now a thing of the past so people have lots to be proud of be sure to watch tonight we have a breaking news story technology has officially ended world hunger And welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tyson Austin Eberle, and you're watching Zeitgeist Live. We do this every Wednesday night right here on Channel Austin, Channel 16. And for those of you that are watching us online, thank you for joining us. We've got a fantastic show for you tonight. Mr. Chad Fisher is going to be bringing in some of his social commentary as usual. Wow. I've got some, uh, I'm going to do a little thing where I, I dance to a previous show's get down. So there's like two, and then three, and then four of me. For the month, I'll do this. So we're getting that started tonight. Good times. Also, we've got a uh, nice roundtable session for you. Tonight's roundtable discussion is on um, the bullshit we won't have to deal with when we're in a resource-based economy. So it's going to be kind of like a bitch session, positive bitch, constructive bitch session. But really, like, God, there's so many inconveniences and just like uncomforts and stresses that we got to deal with in this current paradigm, and it. It's just kind of unnecessary and it blows. And uh, so yeah, good little bitch session going on in the round table session today. So um, yeah, you know what's going on in the news? Well, we've got uh, Z-Day, of course. Z-Day Austin is coming up and uh, we've finally got a location. Yes, we finally got a little location. Um, here we go. It's uh, the New Earth Center. <laughs> Let's raise the camera up. The New Earth Center. <laughs> And uh, it's a beautiful center, and uh, we're really grateful that Artemis and Crystal are hosting us. Uh, it's a uh, wonderful, wonderful grounds. You've got, you know, we're going to be doing some, there's an area to set up some, some gardening, some composting, some, we're going to have some really good workshops. Um, going to have like skill trade going down. We're all putting it together right now, and uh, the development is underway. So uh, that's going to be... March 12th, Saturday, March 12th, from about noon till 6 p.m. at the New Earth Center. Please visit thenewearthcenter.com and also check out our website, which is uh, zeitgeistlive.tv for more information on that. Um, also, there is a, a global site that's been released. It's called zdayglobal.org. That's zdayglobal.org. And uh, oh, let me get out of the shot here. zdayglobal.org, where you can go to see all the different Z-Day events that are going down around the globe. There will be a map, um, there will be links, and uh, so if you are hosting an event, you want to make sure that you go to zdayglobal.org and let them know where your event is going to be so that people in your vicinity or your area can get to your event. Cool. Um, also, also, Zeitgeist Live, we got some new merchandise up. Give a big shout out to uh, Pamela Humphrey for hooking this up. We got a new Zazzle account. Uh, we got some nice cool pens and t-shirts and we also got um, even something for the doggies which is kind of cool. We've got a little, uh, Pam made a little Zite Dog uh, <laughs> image to, to go, you know, to keep the doggies warm. And we got their favorite little Zite Dogs and so here we go. So, uh, so please, yes, if you would like to rock some Z, uh, some ZG Live, some Zeitgeist Live, um, gear. We really appreciate that. Get some buttons, pass them out. So yeah, check that out too. Um, also want to thank everybody as usual for going to zeitgeistlive.tv and uh, helping us out, supporting us with our, um, with the funded funds to, uh, to, you know, take care of the show. I mean, to be honest with you right now, we've got a new green screen you guys can't see, but, uh, you know, we've bought some, we've bought some paper and, you know, it's your contributions that go toward making this show a better production. So if we, if we were to drop out the chroma right now, should we show it to him? All right, it's a little on the fly stuff, sorry guys. But uh, yeah, just know that uh, we really appreciate y'all's contributions to the show. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, 
Also, I uh, want to remind everybody, yeah, see that? <laughs> Boink and the Aqua Project. So uh, everybody, also check out Boink if you just Google uh, Boink, B-O-I-N-C. Uh, what this is, is this is a, uh, it's a, an effort to create uh, quantum computing by linking several different computers together. Um, the uh, Zeitgeist Movement is officially part of the quantum computing aspect of the project, uh, which is known as Aqua. But uh, this is really cool stuff. The more computers that, it, the more people in the movement that are putting forward the effort to link up these computers, the more projects that can get done, the more really cool um, recognition we can get and it's all good pub, so check that out. All right, so we're gonna roll on to our first segment of the show. This is our transformative technology segment. Have you ever wondered how you could possibly get from you know here to China without having to fly, without having a boat? Well, you can get that through maglev technology. This is technology that, well, I'll just you know let, let you check it out for yourself in, in the segment. A short ceremony was held at the newly built Wuhan railway station to launch the official start of China's first high-speed passenger railway. The service links that's Wuhan, good, that's good, that's good. the city of Hubei province in the Guangzhou, the capital city of Guangdong province, cutting travel time between the two cities from 10 hours to 3 hours. Wuhan's TV reporter Hu Li was there. I'm right now standing on the number one platform of the newly built Wuhan railway station. About three minutes later, I will get on the first train of the Wuhan to Guangzhou Express Railway with 1,200 passengers to Guangzhou, a city 1,068 kilometers away from here. While three hours journey, let's experience China's first high-speed railway together. And the ride would be somewhat like this. For those of us in America, 385 kilometers an hour is about 240 miles an hour. And this is about 267 miles an hour. It's 11.50 Beijing time, we arrived at the Guangzhou North Railway Station, passing through 20 cities, over 600 bridges, and through 200 tunnels, which I think is kind of feeling like fly with your feet on the ground. The trip was pleasant and unveiled a brand new page on China's railway network, not only because of its latest technology, longest mileage, or fastest speed, but also the overall improvement of China's railway network. Hu Li and Li Jing for CCTV International from Guangzhou, Guangdong province. As you can see by this article in Popular Science, the vacuum tube train, a 4,000 mile per hour magnetically levitated train, could allow you to have lunch in Manhattan and still get to London in time for the theater despite the five-hour time difference. It's not impossible. Norway has studied neutrally buoyant tunnels, concluding they are feasible, although expensive. And Shanghai is running maglev trains to its airports. But supersonic speeds require another critical step, eliminating the air, and therefore air friction, from the train's path. A vacuum would also save the tunnel from the destructive effects of a sonic boom, which, unchecked, could potentially rip the tunnel apart. So as you can see, the technology exists to even go 4,000 miles an hour in a train. 